Hey everybody, this is Soloist 7 and welcome back to another episode of Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, we took down Eggman and the Mystic Ruins, then went through a windy place and then went to the casino, and now we were introduced to this random appearing blue stone out of nowhere. Now we um have to go back to Mystic Ruins. It's kind of one thing about Sonic Adventure, it sends you all over the place, but nothing that's too big of an issue, I suppose. So, let's go. Why did it zoom out so far? That's like literally never happened. <laughs> Yay! Alright. Let's go ahead and take this over there. So, yeah, after this happens, um, this is supposed to symbolize everything beyond... Uh, okay, well... Uh, everything beyond this point is Angel Island. So that's so supposed to symbolize Knuckles punching his way off of the island. Um, well, that's a pretty big punch for Knuckles, so I'm not sure if I dig that or not. Or, not, not, not dig it, but buy it. And I don't know, Knuckles is, Knuckles is a tough guy, I suppose. Alright, time to MLG this. Oh, yeah! I'm such an idiot. All right. Ice cap zone or action stage four. All right, this is one of my least favorite levels of Sonic. There is a lot of really good speed running tactics and I've honestly never tried them because I never had confidence, but since I admitted in previous parts that I am going to be trying to show off unnecessarily, I'm gonna try to show off unnecessarily. Wait, wait. If I'm gonna try to show off unnecessarily, I need to go back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, wait. Is it too late? Nope, not too late. Not too late. I just gotta make sure I jump right here, and then it's like, right, ah. Wait, I'm about to jump up here? I just watched someone do this. What, well, do I have to like, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here, okay. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna try this too much longer because I don't want to waste time. I did it! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, let's get so much of the level. Um, well, this is a let's play. You're watching it for tricks, and well, there's your trick. It skips just a little bit of that level, and there's a huge level skip right here. Um, I think what he did was the safe way was to jump up. Jump right. Jump up here some, somehow. Right, right there, and then. Oh, okay, I see what to do. I see what to do. Alright, <clears throat> let's do this. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. No, I can't! Ah, jeez. <laughs> okay, whatever. I always play the level like it's meant to be played from here. I did one secret, or I don't really know if those are intended, but I did one thing. I'm proud enough of that. Alright, whatever. Ow. Alright, skills are off right now. <laughs> That's no problem. Okay. See, I just don't like this level because it's a little tedious, but... Oh, well. Can't ask for the moon. These are... This, the physics on these little icicles is a little wonky, but I have literally played these games for years, so it doesn't really affect me. Thanks for the advice. See, like, that jump right there would have skipped this up right here, and we would have just got to skip those icicle... That's icicle part right there. It, Nah, it's not game breaking, but it's just a nice little shortcut. Actually, makes the actual playing part of the level very short. And what do I mean by that? I mean, come on. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Whoa! I love this part. When I first did this, I was like, "What the heck?" <clears throat> but yeah, there's a huge snowball coming for Sonic, and instead of, you know, running at the speed of sound away from it, it's snowboarding, it's more fun, right? Uh, I guess. Um, this is actually an awesome part to me. Control's better than most of the game, actually. Ha <laughs> ha, it's cheap. I love this game. Alright, down we go. This is a very easy part, actually. It's impossible to die, I think. I do not think it's impossible to get hit, because I remember from my childhood, I think I did get hit by the bombers that come up later on the level. I'm not 100% sure, 
I feel like it's something that happened, but I'll show you where I feel like I got hit when we get there. And if you hit the jump button on the end of these ramps, you can perform a nice little jump. Oh man. Sha, dude. Sha. Just like in Sonic Heroes. Sha. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Right here. These bombers. I'm pretty sure that these guys have actually hit me before. I, I mean, I obviously didn't just now, but like those bombs, I'm pretty sure I got hit by one once. I'm not sure if I'm making that up or not, but I'm pretty sure it is something that happened. There's a shortcut right here. Not that it really matters. This is a fun game. <laughs> Commentary. Yeah, there's not much to talk about. I mean, snowboarding down a big hill, trying to take all these little ramps I can be. Showy, MLG, awesomeness. Here's our last ramp. There we go. And fun fact, on my old channel when I let's played this game, I glitched like crazy here and ran through that wall over there. And had to do the whole section over again. That was, that was hilarious. <laughs> it's the only time it ever happened to me. If you want to check it out, I guess find my old channel. But this is better. Don't find my old channel. Alright, with that being said, and Dune, what we need to do now is magically know that we need to come back out here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do feel like I'm getting a little sick, so pardon me if I sound like I am. What's up, Knuckles? Something bugging you? No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. What? Let's just see you take him. Huh. And we have famously like oh, no. some of the easiest boss fights ever in oh, no. Knuckles' famous quote. Oh no. oh no. I better change my tactic rather than running into the invisible wall. Oh no. Uh, oh. oh no. The chaos emeralds. <laughs> Candy from a baby. Look, Mom, no hands. That's a chaos emerald. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead. Now, I have four lovely emeralds! Chaos! These are for you, my friend! And here we go with my favorite boss fight, and that is the biggest sense of sarcasm I could ever use. This is Chaos 4, and, well, you'll find out later on, viewers, why I don't really like this boss fight. Anyway, it's pretty simple. Just stay off of the... Um, if you sit on the water long enough, you will drown. Uh, randomly, he becomes Jesus and can stand here, but only temporary Jesus. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, no! Um and can stand on water temporarily. Um, but you just move around and junk until he comes up. And for some reason he comes up. I don't know why he keeps doing that. It's obviously an opening, but... Okay, this is hilarious, because I literally have never gotten hit by this boss until this recording. I mocked the Let's Player Curse last part, so... I guess that's what I get. Anyway, yeah, this is... Kind of a boring boss. I think it takes just one too many hits to beat. And it's... You can't make it go any faster. You just gotta wait. 
wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, God. Meow. No, 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 not today. All right, but yeah. We're just waiting. There's not much to comment on. Just waiting on him to come up. I'm using the same PS3 controller I played through Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 um, HD remixes with. And, uh, needless to say, the X button sticks a little bit. So, if I don't perform precise jumping, that's why. Come on! Oh my goodness, he is taking forever. Uh, there we go. Finally. I don't think I've ever ended that fight on a lily pad. Now we can play with Knuckles, which is only slightly better than playing with Tails. I'm kidding. And wow, other things to do. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You're just standing here. Okay. All right. Angriness aside, let's go ahead and continue. And this is easily my least favorite part of the game. <laughs> Sonic, wait here for a second. No, I don't wanna. Mm -hmm. I hate this part. Anyway, fun fact about this part: um, in the original Dreamcast version, they had planned to release this game on the Saturn, I think, at first, and then as an RPG. But uh, Sonic's model was still a Saturn model, and it was like more classic. And then they changed it to more modern Dreamcast era look we have now with Sonic. This Sonic. So, when he jumps on the plane in the Dreamcast version, they forgot to change the model, so we reverse back to his Saturn model, which is pretty funny. Anyway, this is my least favorite part of the game. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you now, spoiler alert, you have to do it four times. Four god-forsaken times. It's horrible, it's not fun, it's never fun, you can never make it go quicker, I mean, you can get a higher score, but it's not fun. It's repetitive, and sure, the first time you might be able to find some enjoyment out of it if you make yourself, but it's just not fun. It's the definition of not a good time. Yeah, I hate this. That tail is a little too close to the exhaust. Ow. Burning my skin alive. Ow. Uh, yeah, but it's easy to. Like, it's not even hard. It's just fun. What were they thinking? Even the Sonic Unleashed one is better, and that's my favorite game, like, ever. <laughs> and, um, 
I still don't really like the tornado missions in that game. But they're still better than this. At least they're challenging. Kind of. I'm really bad at, like, quick time events, so that's why I say they're challenging. Because I know some people are good at them, but I'm not at all, so those are part of hell for me. <laughs> Also, I want to address something while we're in the most boring part of the game that's just, you know, not fun. Um, um, as of now, I cannot afford to upgrade my mic. So, if you've heard a little bit of weird feedback, that's because my mic is really bad. Here in just a couple days, I will be upgrading, though. So, do not worry. Um, I will be taking care of that issue, and it will be crystal clear. And no feedback, and hopefully it'll be a little better. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the equipment I have. Um, for Steph, uh, I'm sure one day when the channel gets taken, get, takes off a little bit better, I will do a behind the scenes about how, like, things are made and stuff. But the first one's easy and quick. I mean, they're both easy. But it, it'll get longer. I hate it for a reason. Firing my laser! I love it because Sonic's just looking around like, do you hear something? Tell oh, what the? <laughs> do you hear something? Tell something? Like, ah! <laughs> All right, and back to Station Square we go. <laughs> Tails. Tails. You're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. <laughs> that little girl is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be about all I have time for. Um, in the next episode, uh, we're just going to continue the game. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you all next time.